What's good guys? It's Jay here. Jesse. And uh, as you can see, we got another, I guess, double unboxing for you guys. And uh, well, they're, they're the same shoe. We're, we are brothers, but we don't share shoes. We actually buy the same shoe. Because, you know, who knows? If I fuck up a pair of shoes, I don't want him to get pissed off me for fucking up his pair of shoes. So we buy two pairs. Um, these shoes are probably wasn't hyped. I don't think they were hyped. I don't think there was like any major rage about them. I don't think a lot of people even wanted them to be honest. But uh, they you still get them. You can still get them even. But they piqued our interest. And you know, I guess we're like hipsters in a way where when people start hopping on like one wave way too much, it kind of like I don't want to like. Be, we don't want to be like them. We want to like start new waves and you know enjoy things that not everyone else enjoys. Because you don't you want to stand out. You want to you don't want to blend in. That's that's just how we see it. So uh, we're gonna start to get to unboxing. We can do the owners. Box one. Box one. Where do we get these from? Um. So originally, I think we, we wanted to get them off of Adidas.com, mm -hmm. but then we got. Um. I saw a tweet like literally like an hour after. Cause I think these dropped around like eleven o'clock. Mm -hmm. But then I, like I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if um you know. If something like a big, if I can find a discount code or something, and sure enough, um, Finish Line tweeted out that you could buy. They, they were still selling these on release day. Though we got these on release day, which was um, this past Thursday, which was, I believe, it was the twenty six. It was a way back. It, these should have been reviewed a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They released these released on January twenty six, but I got these. Uh, this came in on February 1st, Wednesday, February 1st, but I didn't want out. I wanted to wait for my brother to get here and so we could do it together. So also, if we look really tired right now, it is 3.30 in the morning. As you can see, 3.30 in the morning, it's Saturday night or Sunday morning, <laughs> and we didn't even drink. Nope. And then so, oh, going back to the release, the reason why we waited was because um, these shoes retail for $110. But that finish line tweeted out a code. I think it was ten something. I don't know, it was ten whatever the phone book was. But basically, we got these for like a hundred bucks. So and then with shipping and everything, it was like a hundred, hundred six. We saved like what, like four bucks. Yeah. So see, save yourself some cash. Moral of the story: patience is a virtue. As, and as you can see, it is a um, an Adidas. So if y'all couldn't already tell right now. The whole entire like fashion industry or footwear industry is all about the three strike game. But for some reason, Nike still owns the shoe industry. Yeah. You no, know? but I think I think it's different though. Cause I think it's like uh, the reason why is because Nike still like people who still play basketball and stuff. Like that, I think like eight out of ten people will still rock Nikes to play basketball in. But um, different strokes for different folks. Cause like even though. I feel like Adidas is on the rise. I think it only appeals to like a certain niche of people, which are like, yeah. uh, I guess like people who are not into sneakers, like into into sneakers. Because if you're like into sneakers, like it's just going on now where people are like, oh, what's a comfy shoe? People are like, oh, boost shoes, boost shoes. It's just recently. Before it was always like, just get a Nike, just get a Nike, just get a Nike. Even though before Nike still weren't the best shoes. Because if you if you talk to people who are like legit runners, they'll be like, go get some Asics, Asics, Asics yeah. Gel Light Three, or Gel Light Socks, like or like. This mm -hmm. other brand, there's a lot yeah. of brands out there. Just Nike is just so the name, the powerful. It's a powerful yeah. brand, you know. And like, I mean, in this day and age, but Adidas making a rise, and you know, and, you know, and honestly, it's all because like they're just making a name for themselves in the fashion industry, especially signing um, Kanye West. It's like the but, it's like lifestyle. People like because yeah, it's a lifestyle it's a, shoe. It's a lifestyle. It's not like a, you don't buy a shoe just for some reason. You buy it just to wear it. There you go. So. I'll tell, I'll maybe do a release in the future or something like that. But me and my brother, we were actually the boost, like we were all about the boost originally when uh, the Pure Boost like ones came out back in 2013. Mm -hmm. And I no 2014. I remember I got the first pair of boosts. They were only 70 bucks back then. My very first pair of boosts was the Pure was the Pure Boost, the all black ones, and they were 70 bucks. And he wore them into the ground. Yeah, I wore them to beat. And he then, wore them so much, like the boost was like this, and it became like a pancake. Yeah. Like, 
and it was brown and it was peeling and everything. But it was so still comfy. It was yeah, it was still comfy. And then now it's just like within the last year or two, everybody's in the boost game now, you know, and it's kinda of discourages, you know, because like there's so many like sneakerheads now that are that are just they uh, just buy they just like want certain shoes. I'm like, do you guys understand why you want the shoes? I'm like, like I said, I'm not gonna be a hater because there are people out there who just buy Jordans and who are just like, man, everyone who don't buy Jordans ain't a sneakerhead. You know, but, like I said, to each their own, you know. Yeah. So we we try to stay ahead of like the sneaker game, you know, try to get into stuff before other new waves. Do it. New yeah, waves. new waves, you know. So trendsetters, we're trying to be trendsetters <laughs> or be one of the trendsetters, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So right now we're trying to get in the EQT game. Right, there you go. Boom, boom, the boom, EQT boom, game. Boom. What you know about that boom. EQT game? These are not a boost. These um these did come in a boost, but I thought this pair right here, mm -hmm. EQT, was 10 times better than the, uh, the Boost one. I don't know, man. Like my, my, my brother says, this reminds J, my, um, Jay of, um, of what you call it, the uh, infrareds. The infrared Air Max Nights. I know you, you guys are like, what? Don't, don't, don't shit talk to Air Max, but just hear me out real quick. It's the color and how the colors sit on the shoe. That's what it is. And like, the reason why, like, we didn't really like the Boost so much because even though we love Boost shoes so much, right? But there's something that you can say about Boost shoes, what that is. Boost don't look that good. You literally got like a styrofoam cup on your feet sometimes. So, like, yeah, like, I don't want to feel like I'm sipping lean out of my shoe. So, there you go. Uh, we have, so, uh, if you can see, it, that pink or that pinkish red, that is infrared. It's not like a bright, bright infrared. It's kind of like a... Like a dull, like a matte infrared. I'm gonna say like it's a matte infrared, which is like you know, it's not too shiny, it's not too like um, out there. Or look at that, as you can see. I, I honestly feel like we obviously, I think we both agree on this. I think we think this year is the year of like the EQT. Like last year was dominated by like, Ultra Boost and these. I think the EQT is gonna make a rise because as you can see, this is a prime knit. Is this a prime knit upper? Or is it uh, knit upper? It's, it's a knit upper. It's a, no, it's not, it's not prime knit. It's, it's just, it's just, so it's like mesh. It's just mesh. They do have a prime knit version. Prime knit version, like I said, Adidas likes to uh, base it. They're like not very original about the design. Like it's like very mesh. Like this mesh, they have a prime knit version, which is kind of like it has the same upper as like um, pair of NMDs. But okay, hold up. What is this? What's with these markings already on the shoe? What's with the markings? You guys see the, the blue marks? You see finish line. What the hell? Oh, what the hell finish line? In regards to this marks, regardless of it would have got marked up anyway, but you know when you when you get a shoe like like this brand new shoe, you want it to look brand new. Like you can lick the sole that is so fresh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Look, it has, it has a green insole. I don't think I don't think you can see that, but whatever. Oh look at this. yo, this is crazy. So for something they have a tag on here called Ortholite. So I'm guessing they collab with a brand for Ortholite to make the insole. I have not even tried on this shoe. Neither of us have. We just unboxed it in front of you. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna. This shoe is pretty nice. If you can see, like, uh, just he pulls up the thing, um, there's a pattern on the mesh. It's kind of like, um, it's like, what is, what would, you, what would you call that pattern? Like, like digi camo? Yeah, it's kind of like camo. Like digi, digi camo. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, If you look at this, the profile of the shoe, it just looks more. EQT right there. Eh, it, it looks more like. Wearable. I know that's that kind of sounds weird, but it just looks like it could fit more, more looks, more styles that you want to wear. I mean, it's a little more sporty than I would say like the NMD or Ultra Boost, but mm. it's pretty nice. It's cheaper. It's a little cheaper oh, too. These are 110 bucks. 110. Bucks. Discount code 100. Come on, like you can't beat that. And like the colors are nice. The colors pop. I know some people might not be a people might be against the infrared, but you know. This dude, this dude Justin was on like the infrared bright neon game like in 2007. Before even Oregon did that shit, man. But then like I said, like trends like trends kind of died. They're trying to fade. They feel like now it's all about like um like the dull color, now earth tones, tones, earth tone colors, maroon, this olive. Year, this year it's gonna be about primary colors. I'm calling it's gonna be about like these greens, these bold greens, bold reds, bold blues, purples, like just primary. Like, those colors on the rainbow. Those that's mm -hmm. what's gonna be about this year. It's gonna mm -hmm. be like a switch up. Mm -hmm. Um 
Like I said, um, like elk, if you guys aren't afraid to like be go out of your way, get yourself a pair of these um EQTs. Mm -hmm. And honestly, EQTs aren't anything new. They've been out around since like the what? 80s. They've yeah. just been remodeling them. They just put a little different twist on it. Yeah, exactly. And like my brother said it, like fashion, nothing, nothing in fashion is ever original. Like, only the fashion just recycle itself. Just get, like I was telling my brother that, like earlier today, like everybody wears bombers these days, dog. When I was in freaking, when I was in middle school and stuff like that. That, like when I was like what 2000 and what 2000 and uh, five, 2000 2000 2005 I remember people in my high school used to wear well back then we didn't call them bombers we call them flight jackets <laughs> I don't I don't know if any of y'all are old enough to know I'm like 26 now so it's like almost like 12 years ago for like yeah over a decade ago people used to wear bomb like people used to wear baggy ass pants to their um uh, down to their butt you know and it, it like, or even down to their knees, and wearing four XL shirts, and wear huge ass like they maybe wear a large or even medium. They wear four XL bomber jackets. We call them flight jackets back in the day. Yo. You know, it used to go. It used to the go same to, orange inner line. They yeah, yeah, same, same inner line. Now it's like it's been recycled. What like fifteen years later, like a decade later, not and now it's all fitted and everything. I remember people used to rock ripped jeans like from Hollister. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm so fresh. I'm yeah, yeah. Still ripped exactly. jeans. Exactly. Exactly. We, when we when I was in middle school, people were like, "Oh, we had like ripped jeans and everything." And like, I remember my parents used to tell me, "We're like, dog, why would you pay like fifty bucks for a pair of jeans that are ripped? I could do that shit myself." Cause mom, I'm trying to look cool. That's what you were saying. Yeah, exactly. mom, I'm trying to look cool. Trying Everybody to look cool. knows that. Even for all your middle schoolers and high schoolers out there, like high school and middle school is all about image. So you don't want to be that 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 dude who ripped up his own jeans. You want you want to be like, "Oh, I'm wearing <laughs> Hollister ripped jeans and everything. You're cool." Now. It's just about like just some, yeah. some fear of God rip off shoot pants. Yeah, exactly. Shit. And like I said, not, not that, nothing in fashion is ever like, I guess you yeah. said, is ever really that original. It just recycles us over with little minor, like, what, like modifications here and there. Except for one. The one, the one type of fashion that will always be consistent is class. Gentlemen wear. Yeah, you so wear, you can, you're gonna wear a black suit when you ten. You can wear a black suit when you eighty. Exactly. You're still gonna look fly. Exactly. So, what do you think about the shoe though? Well, yeah, Talk about, about our little rant though. But like, like right. in the shoe overall, like I said, like this this year, this is the year the EQTs. Like everybody's in the NMD game and everything. But I'm telling you, like. Adidas is gonna release so many colorways that they're just gonna be like known as like a GR at that mm -hmm. point. Like everybody's gonna have the N NMD. Like mm -hmm. toward like I remember like last year, like towards like the later half of the year, like you had an NMD. Like you was pretty cool. Hot you know? fire. Like those all those triple white NMDs were like so yeah, rare. Like, and, and now like, you can you can bet on them. Yeah, yeah. Now these pop they restock every week. Exactly. Or like the triple white Ultra Boost. Exactly. They were like, oh, the exactly. Grail. Now the, everywhere. This is gonna be. And I know that sounds messed up because we sound like hype beats right now, like, oh, it ain't rare, so you shouldn't have bought it. Yeah. We're not saying that. It's just, in the end, it's a little hype beast in all of us. Yeah, everybody's a hype beast. Everyone's Every a little hype beast. Everybody's a it's hype beast. It's just like beast. we said at the beginning of the, the video, you know, we want to stand out. And just yeah. when you see everyone we were rocking at, dude, you're like, fuck that. I'm yeah. getting some of these. Like, like, I personally have a rule, like, when I buy a pair of shoes, like, whether it be a Jordan, Adidas, anything, I like to sit on them for, like, two years before I rock them because I know that everybody... Everybody wants to wants to rock the pair when they first get them, but nah, I'm the type of person that like, I'm gonna wait till you all yours go to beat, like you wear them to beat and they're all beat up and shit, I'm gonna bring my Icy Fresh. Okay, should we, t should we bring up the, an example? All right, go ahead. Example one, this man got the Legend Blue 11s on release day. They came in, he looked at them, smelled them, cuddled them, and then never wore them. Yeah, it's been two years. I still don't wear it. It's not like he's like, oh, he's not wearing any sneakers. He just never found the occasion yeah, it's, to it's, wear them. Yeah, it's not that, and it's also I don't want to wear it because people like I see people wearing like all the time, and I don't want to like I said, I don't want to be like everybody else. And like I said, and if y'all want to get like ahead of the game, EQTs, man. I think about it, like like slowly and surely, like Adidas is is just releasing more and more and more EQTs, like the push, like the what's King Push? Yeah, King Push EQTs. They phased that in. Yeah, they phased that. That that, that was a, like a low key hot ass sneaker. Like it was a nice sneaker, but not everybody wanted to get them because it wasn't an NMD at the time. Mm -hmm. But now it's all about NMD, NMD, NMD. And I'm telling you, like this is the year of the EQT is an like, EQT boost. Mm -hmm. that, they, that, that like the um. Like the uh, the uh, the boost version of this is sold out too, you know. But like I said, like like this shoe overall, like it's an amazing shoe. Like it's it just 
it just pops, you know? The, the infrared pops. Man. Yeah, the infrared pops. This man is a huge fan. We both fans of infrared, but he, he really likes it too. And it's just like things you can like about the shoe. Like, oh, we both like these these high tongues when mm -hmm. the, the tongue's lie because we got skinny ankles and kind of hide them a little bit. And like, it just looks like a more um, aggressive looking shoe in our opinion. Like, I don't know, you guys you can enjoy it. Like, you don't like it, you don't like it, you know, to each their own. Mm -hmm. We like it, so we both yeah. bought a pair. At the end of the day, wear what you like. You know, if you don't like a shoe, don't buy it. If you like a shoe, get it. You know, it's your Every, money. everybody is to be. A, I'm, I'm a huge advocate of you being an individual. You know, wear what you like. Who gives a fuck what everybody thinks? You know, if you want to rock NMVs, rock NMVs. If you want to rock them 1990 fillers or them on the Reebok, <laughs> uh, what do they call them? The Reebok uh, Shack Gnosis or some shit. Is that what the ones with like the what, like old grandmas and stuff would wear? It's I don't like, know. Those I, are some geriatrics. You talking about some geriatrics? I, I, I don't know. I'll post it on the screen. But like, I remember, I remember people seeing used people wear those too. I can't remember what they're called, but they, like they're pretty cool too. I don't know. Maybe I'll rock a wear one day. I know some people rock those Raf Simmons. You know what I'm talking about those. You've seen them before, they look like some ugly, you can pop on the screen right here, but they are funky. Like when he looks it up on Google, he's gonna be like, what in the world? But they sell for like 500, yeah. for no reason. Actually, yeah. for, there is a reason why they sell for 500, but they is, they is hideous. Yeah. But like I said, that's enough of our rant, but at the end of the day, if you like yourself some EQTs, get on the trend before everybody else does, you know, cause like I said, they're gonna start, they're gonna start loading these, they're gonna release these like, Continuously making boost version of these, prime net versions of these. So get them while you can, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like I said, that's that's the end of my our rant. And I hope you guys got a pair. If you like them, you can still get them if you want to do this. I'm pretty sure it's still a full size run. Any ending notes? Nah, just he said it all, man. We if you like them, buy them. We both bought one, so be an, an too. be an individual and don't yeah. be a, don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be a sheep. Don't be a sheep. Don't be a sheep. Don't be don't be a follower. Be a leader. You know. You be go. a trendsetter. There you go. But anyways, I'm out, y'all. Peace. Peace.